guys, what I'm back with another video. Today I have two videos crammed into one because I figured out I could. And so yeah, hope you guys enjoy. So the first thing I'm gonna be talking about is a thanks to two of my friends, Riot Bomb and NinjaMo69. They both helped me start my channel, figure out like how everything works and stuff like that. The second video is gonna be the components of a computer and how a computer works because a lot of people I talk to don't really know how a computer works and how a computer works and what are the parts that go into it so the first thing I'm gonna be starting out is the thanks to my friends so Riot Bomb is Ryan and Ninja 69 is UC they both helped me start my channel so they helped me figure out everything which means like exporting rendering all that stuff figured I figured out how to edit videos what softwares they recommended to me they actually helped me make intros taught me how to do like everything I know how to do like GIMP to make my thumbnails anything you can name it they helped me do it so I'm gonna leave their channels on the screen right now so you can click on either one of them you should subscribe to Ryan and UC I mean UC doesn't really upload anymore and Ryan's been stopped uploading, uploading because he's been really busy, but still you should subscribe so that once they get back in the grind, you can watch all their videos. So moving on to the second part of my video, I'm going to be talking about the CPU first. So the CPU is an acronym, it stands for Central Processing Unit. So the definition is the part of a com computer in which operations are controlled and executed. So basically that means it's pretty much like everything. You can do everything off of your CPU, and it also means you can like process videos, which some people call a processor. That's why I can't really make live commentaries, is because my computer can't sync the audio and the game, like my commentary and the gameplay together, because my CPU isn't power not powerful enough to do that, unfortunately. So that's why I don't really do that. Moving on to the second thing on my list, it's called the graphics card or GPU. So the definition is a printed circuit board that controls the output to a display screen. So basically that means it's your graphics. It's It helps you run games I guess too, but if you have integrated graphics that means it what you're playing looks good. And it's just like the display, I guess you could say. So moving on to the third thing on my list is the hard drive. So the hard drive is actually storage. It's not memory, which I'll talk to after this. But definition of hard drive is a high capacity self-contained storage device containing a read-write mechanism plus one or more hard disk disks inside a sealed unit also called a, a disk drive. So, you don't really have to worry about that, that second part, but basically what it is is storage, and you can, it's like 500 gigabytes, 250 gigabytes, 1 terabyte, that's what that is. You, if you save a picture or a document, you're saving it to your hard drive, so it's everything that you're, you save stuff to it. So the fourth thing on my list, I'm not going to number them anymore because... I messed up about 40 times because I couldn't figure out which one this was. But the next thing is memory or RAM. So RAM is a acronym again for random access memory. And the definition is the primary working in a computer used for temporary storage of programs and data in which the data in which the data can be accessed directly and modified. So basically what it is is it makes your computer run faster and if you search something depending on how much ram you have it should i don't totally know but basically it makes your computer run faster so the next thing on my list is a motherboard the motherboard definition is a printed circuit board containing the principal co components of a computer or other device which connect with connectors into which other circuit boards can be slotted so basically that means you can fit your RAM in there, you can fit your hard drive, your CPU, all that other stuff. One thing I'm not going to be covering that much into is a power supply. So a power supply is what goes into your motherboard to power that so that the motherboard can power all your 
parts of your computer so that it works and your power supply then plugs into like a wall <laughs> so it holds everything basically the next thing I have is a well I don't have a definition for it but it is computer cases they basically hold everything in the computer they hold the motherboard the SSDs which are solid state drives I'm not gonna talk about that really cuz I don't really know what they are um, they they just hold everything and so yeah cases look cool but you don't have to have an amazing case the last thing I'm gonna be talking about is a operating system so an operating system is like Windows 7 Windows 8, Windows 10, or if you're on a Mac, it's OS, I think it's called, I don't know. But it's basically what runs your computer. So, how it runs. Not how it runs, but like, it's kind of hard to explain if you don't really know about computers, but if you have Windows, it's basically Windows. Like, that's, that's what it is. Also, Linux is another operating system, but I don't really know how that works never tried it before so hope you guys enjoyed if you did leave a like hope you guys if this helped you leave a like too hope it did and see you in the next video peace out